Hi Comcare App Builders, Kevin here from the product team at Debagi. This is the second video in a series that we put together to help you get started in Comcare. If you haven't already, you should check out the first video where we explain how to set up your project space. In the first video, we started a project for a health NGO that will be used by community health workers as they collect information and track patients in a village. We created a case list to track women through their pregnancies in the village. In this video, we're going to build out that case list we started in video one with a new registration form and questions. By the end of this video, you'll understand how a form fits within a case list. Remember, forms are a set of questions we use to collect information. You'll also know how to add three different question types in a form. Finally, we'll share a fun fact from Demagi. Once we click the registration form, we are inside the Comcare form builder. On the left side of your form, you will see the question bar dropdown. You can hover your cursor over the question button to see the type of question it will add. For this tutorial, we will go over three types of questions, text, multiple choice, and numerical. We want to start with the basics, so let's have our community health worker ask the pregnant woman her name. Click this button to add a text question. Set the label text to say, woman's name, and the question ID will be automatically filled in. The question ID is what the data will be tagged as in Comcare HQ. Labels, on the other hand, are the display text that the mobile worker will see. The form builder has two sections. On the left is the question tree, where we can navigate among questions. On the right are our question properties, where we control the content and logic of each question. Now let's have the community health worker ask the pregnant woman a multiple choice question. Has the woman previously given birth? Click on the multiple choice question button. Make sure we choose this icon. Be careful, we want a single choice question and not a checkbox question. Click on the question and fill out the question ID and label text. you will see a plus add choice button underneath the question. We also need to change the names of the choices. Let's create a choice for yes and a choice for no. Now let's add a number question to record how many children the woman has. Since we only want to count whole numbers of children and not decimals, we will use the integer question. The question should look like this. Next, let's ask the woman if she's feeling sick today. Add another multiple choice question that looks like this. The last thing we want to add is a screen that does not ask for any information, but only provides a written message to the community health worker. Let's remind him or her to tell the pregnant woman to go to the clinic. Click on the drop-down menu text questions and choose Label. Make this the question ID and label text. If we ever need to change the order of questions, we can use the question tree. Simply click the question name and drag it. Okay, and since you've made it this far, here's your fun fact about Damagi. Here at Damagi, we have over 20 engineers who are continuously working to improve your ComCare experience. They also have some other pretty cool talents too, 